Hello, this is a video about how to make zinc bromide for doing zinc bromide batteries. And if you're uh, looking at the screen here, you'll see the, the basic chemical formula for, for making it. Uh, you essentially mix a dissolved solution of sodium bromide with zinc sulfate in the right ratio. And uh, your sodium sulfate, which is globular salt, will precipitate out as you uh, evaporate some of the water and you evaporate it down until you have nothing but uh, zinc bromide in the solution and as this uh, tries to show you want to make up two moles of zinc bromide you mix 556 grams of sodium bromide with 575 grams of zinc sulfate this can be uh, you can be, make zinc sulfate with just zinc metal and sulfuric acid, which I've done. Or you can take agricultural grade, or 99%, hopefully, or better. And I would always recrystallize it at least once. I mean, you dissolve it and let it crystallize in hot water. It's pretty simple to do. And uh, what you do is you, you mix both of those solutions in uh, half a liter of hot water, which should dissolve them all. Um, you pour them together and then you put them in a glass, say 13 by 9 Pyrex type dish and put it in your oven and cook it overnight or whatever until you're down to about, you take your one liter until you're about uh, 200 milliliters. This will give you a 10 molar solution. You'll just have a lot of, uh, sometimes I have to do it in two steps because it, you know the sodium the globber salt will fall out and you can scrape it out and keep going but the idea is that you take it down to um, about 10 molar and zinc bromide is so dense that it will pretty much precipitate all if you have something off a little bit everything will precipitate out at, mol at 10 molar. Zinc bromide will not crystallize till you're about 11 or 12 molar so that works out pretty pretty well. It's a great way to have a very pure chemical. Uh, just one little aside about zinc bromide. It has a very interesting history. It's probably the most dense fluid you're ever going to come across. It's quite, it's a little freaky when you first uh, hold a small bottle of the, especially the 10 molar solution. Uh, it's so dense, and it, it, 10 molar solution is is crystal clear usually. But it's so dense, it's actually used as a transparent radiation shield. If you ever see a, uh, a movie or a picture of someone using Waldos and they're looking through a big window into a radioactive hot cell, they're looking through a, a pane of uh, zinc bromide solution between glass because radiation will not hurt zinc bromide, and it's just an amazingly dense material. Uh, the other v uh, The other video that I'm doing on making zinc batteries will hopefully uh, have some patent numbers that you can look at at least one about how to do a zinc bromide battery and uh, it's that simple the um, like I say uh, okay this is what I'm talking about uh, you pour your one liter of uh, mixed salts into one of these dishes like this is a Pyrex uh, I think it's a 13 by 9 inch dish and I cook it uh, at low heat, maybe 200, 250 degrees overnight. And it usually, sometimes it might take a little longer than that. But you want to get it down to about 200 milliliters to give you about a 10 molar solution eventually. Uh, this is one of the easiest uh, places I found to, to find uh, sodium bromide. This is 99% sodium bromide. Uh, you probably want to, to go to a major distributor of pool chemicals that's where I got this one this was four you know 1.8 kilograms of sodium bromide and that's about the cheapest I, the larger you buy of course the cheaper it becomes if anyone out there knows where I can buy a 55 pound or 100 pound bag of sodium bromide I'd love to know because I want to make a lot of these batteries but uh, bromine starter it's what you usually use for hot tubs to start the the uh, if you can use bromine in a hot tub, you use bromine starter to begin with, and then you use other chemicals to keep the bromine up. But uh, buying this mail order on eBay too is uh, the cheapest 
way to find uh, sodium bromide and you need a lot of sodium bromide for zinc zinc bromide batteries so that's actually the, the hardest zinc sulfate's easy enough to get zinc uh, sodium bromide is a little more difficult to come by and that actually sets the cost of your material I hope this has been informative and I hope to have more stuff on different other kinds of batteries and uh, probably have one on uh, where to get uh, carbon felt and a few other materials for making batteries and thank you very much